Which is the only one that's possible? The 4. Good. You can't have negative 9 time. I can't go back in time 9 seconds in this case. Right? So if I were to draw this... Where's my galaxy pen? If I were to draw this line here, if I were to continue this back here, right, that would be my negative 9, and that's where my 4 is. So in this case, they, I read a therefore statement, the rock hits the water, at four seconds. Okay. Now this next question is probably the hardest one I could ask of you. Okay. Examples I put. Only three examples. Good. Here's the hardest question I can ask. When will the rock reach 110 meters above the water? Okay. So let's go back to our original equation. H of t equals negative 5t squared minus 25t plus 180. Okay. When will the rock get to 110 meters above the water? Does anyone have any guesses of where I'm going to put that 110? No, you can't. What I'm going to do is essentially I'm raising this line up to 110 here. Right? Before, we had this equals 0. Right? Because we wanted to find out when it hit... We changed this number here to 110. Okay? Because we want to know the height... Right? The height is 110. Then we're going to find then we have to find the time that occurs. So we need to rearrange our formula a little bit. So we're going to take this 110 over to the other side. So we're back 0 negative 5t squared minus 25t plus 180 minus 110. Negative 5t squared minus 25t plus 70. Okay? Now we do the exact same thing we did up here. Okay? Should I give you guys a minute to get ahead of me to solve this? Or do I, I'll walk through this one myself with you. One of these later ones we're going to do together. So now, what do you do first here, Colin, again? We need to take out the... No, take out the... We need common factor that negative 5 out, right? Now, be careful. Oops. Be careful when you take out a negative number to switch your signs, right? So everything that was negative is now positive, and everything that was positive is now negative. Uh, 14. Who wants to, in chat, share me the factors I'm going to use here? Two numbers are multiplying the negative 14, but they also have to add the 5. Okay. 
Good. Which one's positive, which one's negative? Good. No, you're right. Because when you add, oops. When you add these together, 7 minus 2, you're going to get 5. So my two zeros, my time is going to be, I'm going to switch the signs of these. Does it mean negative 7 or 2? So when is my rock going to be at 110 meters? Negative 7 time or 2 seconds? Which one's the only one that's possible? Can I have negative time? Yeah. So my answer is going to be 2. Good job, Ben. You too, Tanner, although Ben beat you by a little bit. All right, then we can write our therefore statement. Thank you. At 110 meters at two seconds. Perfect. So there's nothing that we've, we're not learning anything new here. We're just applying our, our previous knowledge. All right. So let's look at this one. So Snowy Snowboard Company manufactures snowboards. Why they have so many S's in there, I have no clue. The company uses this function the model its profits in thousands of dollars, where X is the number of snowboards, snowboards sold in thousands. How many snowboards must the snowboard, oh my gosh, how many snowboards must be sold for the company to break even? So let's understand what it's asking first. Right, so I'm just going to draw a graph over here. Okay, we're going to label the vertical one here profit, profit, and this would be, on this axis, it would be number of, number of boards. Okay, then we're going to have a chart that comes out here that kind of looks like this. Um, let's go with purple. Something looks like this. We're going to have so at a certain point they're going to make, sell boards, but they're not going to make money, right? But then at one point they're going to make some money here. They're going to break even. They're going to make a profit. But then after so after so many boards, they may lose money. Okay. So that's what we're kind of looking at here. So are we looking for a vertex or a the zeros now if we're looking for these spots here vertex or zeros perfect zeros so how do we find zeros what do we have to do we have to we have to use the F word and do what to it ah uh, not foil the other F word. Factor. Very good. Okay. So we have to factor it. Now, this doesn't look like... I'm going to rearrange it here a little bit. So profit at X equals negative 54 X squared plus 324 X. Now, we don't have that third term here, plus zero, right? So what we need to do here, when you have something like this, we're going to common factor it, okay? So what no, what's that biggest number that goes into both of these? And usually what I try to do is I try to use the lowest number first. So can we divide 324 by 54? Uh, We can't. So we're going to take out, just as we took out the 5 above, we're going to take out negative 
54 and x, because that's both common there. So if we divide this by negative 54x, we're just going to be left with x. Now if we divide this by negative 54x, we're going to be left with, well, that's going to be a minus 6. Does everyone understand how I factored that? And we have a question again? Yeah, that's not a problem. Yeah, and if you ever need help, if you're doing it in OneNote, or if you're doing it in Teams, I should see the page that you're working on. Okay, we'll go over it. We'll go through the lesson, then I'll come back and help you. Okay? Alright, so... Uh, where's my chat here? Okay, now let's find our zeros. Okay, so we pull this out and we make it equal to zero. Pull this out, make it equal to zero. So negative 54 x equals zero. Divide both by 54 x equals zero. On this side, we have x minus six equals zero. X equals six. So. equation doesn't make sense for me right now. It should be 6. Let's run this through decimals. Y equals negative 54. How come I got the wrong numbers? Should be two and negative two. Three times four divided by four. All right. Let me look at this one second. Oh, it's by company could sell six thousand or zero boards to break even. Okay, no, our, our our graph is right for some reason here. So that means at zero boards, the graph will look like this. If we kind of sketch it real quick, it'll look like this. So once they make over zero boards, they start making profit. But if they make, remember this is times a thousand, right? So if you times this by a thousand, if they make between, let's see here, let me type it up. They make between, uh, Make zero boards and less than six thousand boards, they will make a profit. Okay. Yeah, their profit would decrease over time over the amount of boards that they sell. Right? So like the profit is the the y axis, the number of boards is the x axis. Now it could mean like if they like once like hypothetically you go, oh doesn't it 
how it doesn't make sense that if they sell more boards they make less money but if you think about it like they at this amount they may have to start paying their employees more money right to work overtime or they may need to like open a new factory which their profits will start going down okay now you might have a question that asks you to find the vertex so these ones are asking you to find the zeros so we factor it, we find the zeros, then we interpret our answer, what, it's gonna, what it means. This one here, we're going to find the vertex, which is just what we did up top. So you're looking for words such as maximum, minimum, highest, lowest, most, least, optimal value. Those are all different ways to say the same thing. Okay. So the strategy is the same as we did above. You'd factor it, you find the zeros, axis symmetry, and then you plug that axis symmetry into it and then interpret the solution. So, for example, a software company models the profit of its latest video game using this function. Okay? Where X is the number of games in thousands that the com company produces and P is the profit. What is the maximum profit the company can earn? So once you see that like profit number, the profit word here, you're looking for a highest number or max. Okay. So what do we have here? We have negative two x squared plus thirty-two x minus one ten. What's the first thing we have to do here? Oh. One second, I'm just looking at uh, Tej's here. How did you get the 100 that you multiplied it by? Oh, up here, it said by the thousands. That's why I did it by that. Same with this one. This one at the very end. We can get the numbers, but the number at the very end we have to multiply this by 1,000 and then the other variable by million. All right, perfect, Colin. Take the negative two out. You could factor it with the negative two in there, but it just makes it a lot easier if you leave it out, right? So let's take the negative two out, but watch when you take the negative two out, you divide everything by negative two, you have to switch the signs. So that equals, minus 16 X plus uh, 55 no yes two weeks out of school my math is wavering oops plus 55 so this is going to be a tough one to factor now. So what's two numbers that multiply? Well, first hint here. We have a negative here and a positive here. What does that mean about our signs? They're both going to be what? Are they both going to be positive or both going to be negative? Negative, good. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to 55, but add to 16. Hmm. Actually, it's a pretty easy number. I'll watch chat for the people who get it. Good job, Lawrence. Good job, Ben. So it's 11 and 5. So what's my zeros then? Good job, Fiona. If I take these out, now if I realize there's only there's only a one in front of this, I can just take this number and flip it, flip the sign of it. So my zeros are going to be eleven and five, but we're not looking for a zero here. So right now we're on step three here. Not looking for a zero. 
So we have to, we're trying to find our vertex. So now we have to do what to these two? So we have to find our axis of symmetry next. What do we do there? Waiting for my chat to show up. Add them and then do what then? Divide by 2. So we go 11 plus 5 divided by 2. 16 divided by 2 equals 8. So in terms of our vertex, that's my x value. And then what do I do with that number? So what do I do with that number now? No. What do I do with that number? You did it this morning. You plug it in to the equation. Right. So you, negative 2 times 8 squared plus 32 times 8 minus 110. Let's plug that in my calculator. So this would be our profit now. Did anyone get a number for me? Wait for chat to give me the number before I write my number down. Da, na, 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 na. Who's got my number? If you run this all through the calculator, you're going to end up getting 18. Oh, negative 128. I have in Paris. Watch your... Try to plug it all in at one time on your calculator if you can. So now you have to remember that this here was in thousands and in millions. Right? This number here. So that's not actually my answer. My actual answer is... This is in thousands, and this is in millions. So what's the maximum profit? If we look at our graph, the x value would be the number of gains, and the y would be profit. So this is our maximum profit. So we could write a little therefore statement that says the max profit is $18 million. And you could add in when 8,000 games are sold. What? Your answer was Portugal. Oh, that was just for that. Okay, I get it, Paris. What are you looking at? So, the questions in your homework. If I go to your homework. Tuesday homework. The thing you have to figure out is what you're looking for. Right? Oh, we'll do question one kind of. I'll set up question one with you. Um, what you're looking for, is it a maximum number or a minimum number, or is it like this one, like a when, when thing, okay? So you have to figure out what you're looking for. Question one here, we didn't go over, I probably won't give you this here on a test, but it's good to know. So the path of a dolphin travels 
when it dies beneath the water can be modeled by this function, where hd is the depth of the water. When will the dolphin reach a depth of 1.8 meters? Oh, no, we did that one. That is just like Um, don't do one. It's ugly. In terms of factoring, I think. Let me look at your answers for that. Actually, you guys could do it. But you don't have to do one if you don't wish to. If you want to challenge, do one. If not. But look for those words that say maximize, minimize, and things along those lines. Okay? How do we feel about... Uh, what we just did. Transferring, finding a vertex or finding the uh, zeros into word problems. Tanner says he's good. Anyone else? There's some people who I haven't heard from in a while, but I don't know if they just walked away from their uh, their computer. Good. Lucas is there. Good. Good. Yeah, so you guys have time for your homework now.